Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Madurai. And where we last left our nation, we had fought a successful war of independence against Vijayanagar with some assistance from Bamanis. And now we've allied up a lot more thoroughly than we were able to do before EJ had attacked us the first time. I mean, they've only attacked us once, but the first war that we had with them. Because there will be a second one. One way or another. It looks like they did. Let's see, they got Aglana. I'd like to get Andra as an ally, if possible, but now they're rivaled. So I don't want VJ to get them as an ally again. But I don't think we can avoid that. So Bamani's hit military tech six or at seven while they're still at six. Andrew's stuck at five. But I fear that Bamani's has some financial problems. I'd like to be in a position to be able to help them out. That way they're strong enough to help us wreck VJ. And we're trying to get Jumpor as an ally. Haven't had a chance to get her professionalism up that high. Ooh, let's move away from those rebels just in case. Do like seeing a 19 stack of rebels, even though they're only peasants, that will deplete AJ's manpower a little bit. And Malabar did the next Mysore. We'll have to deal with them eventually over at the province of Malabar itself. But we got plenty of time. Gotta deal with VJ first. They're the, the, an existential threat to us. Yeah, we'll get the Diplo points. It wouldn't hurt to make VJ like us a little bit more. Yeah, keep an eye on whether or not Ming would let us suckle on the Ming teat. Like to get down that corruption a little more rapidly. Yeah, keeping relations hovering around a hundred would be nice. Just top off relations with our allies for now. The good thing is that we have VJ boxed in. If they want to expand, it's going to involve war. It 
Tak, Paglana. I mean, giving up that alliance there. They could attack, I guess they could fabricate on, over here. Can't worth Bamanis, they can't get worth Beglano or Malabar because of guarantees were alliances. And they guaranteed Andra as well. So, yeah. Only people they could attack are Bamanis or us. Unless they fabricate down here. Okay, so this Diplo rep is really good for us, though. It's hard to pass up. As long as we're relying upon allies for our very existence, I'm going to prioritize Diplo rep over, like, siege ability. And we can get an idea group, as promised. I'm going to take defensive. We got some cash from our merchant guild, so I'm going to keep working on trying to get this fleet a little stronger. And would like to get our stability back up to plus one so that we can generate some more prosperity. My priority is to get our tech up to seven, then we could save up, try to get to military drill before we have to fight VJ again. I'm going to put myself as threatened by them rather than hostile. Let's just check this. Lana Bastar. Neither one is likely to help us out. An event of war with VJ. VJ would take a royal marriage with us. That's interesting. Well, that would ensure that they don't attack us, but we wouldn't be able to attack them either. Free general. And now we are 10 years ahead of time. Let's get another trade ship. We're not generating enough sailors to replace the losses, but we do have a big pool. And as this autonomy ticks down, we'll be able to get more. Okay, so much time. Wow, only one year. Let's stop drilling our troops at the end of the month. Thought we had more time than that. I'd love to be able to afford to put a real fort here in our capital. That's just not an option. Okay, they did ally Andra again. That's unfortunate. I 
Interesting, Vici isn't paying for this fort. I am tempted. Just march in, try to seize it. I really need Bomani's to have more troops than that. Before we can try for something that bold. And they're they're neutral towards us, that's pretty funny. Yeah, I think if VJ attacks them, Bomanis will win. Because we would have them fighting on two fronts, and John Poor would get troops down here, I'm sure. Now is getting tougher. John Poor, who are your rivals? Actually, they might not be able to get troops down. Yeah, we'll keep this general. Although that one that we got for free is pretty good. Just hope that we'd get some more pips there. Ugh. Pearl trade. Suffering at the moment. Pay a little bit of cash. At least we're at our naval and land force limit. When you save up. A little bit of money to pay off that debt, but that'll come. I'm curious. Who would come on in on each side? Andra might not be willing to protect them. It would. I mean, these two aren't very tough, but the two of them together might be sufficient to keep Bamani's busy. I mean, these three are definitely tougher than Bamani's right now. And if I could just capture that and overpower them navally, these troops couldn't get across. But that'd be really risky. pt has got 27,000 troops. Yeah, we we can't attack him yet. Okay, looks like we have royal marriages with all of our allies. No real other options. Let's just top off relations here with Pomanis as their our most important ally. I think I'm gonna keep drilling our army. We won't be able to attack them anytime soon. Top off relations here. Now it looks like we should be able to pay off this debt. Okay.
Oh, it shouldn't take too much longer for the Renaissance to spread throughout the Monies. Manpower recovered. And placate VJ. It will try. And basically, we'd have to roll marry them or just give it a while. We'll just work on improving relations at the subcontinent and hope for the best. Trying to vassalize Gujarat. Some more diplo rep. That would make a huge difference on whether people accept our alliance offers or not. Let's go for siege ability. I'm going to top off relations here with Ming. It would be really nice to become their tributary, then no one in, in Asia would attack us directly. Okay, what could we get? I'm thinking we went to go for... The free war taxes. I guess the other idea that could really help us would be exploration, try to get some colonies built. So that allow us to make allies, you know, people like Pesai or Ayutthaya, some of the East Africans. And it make up for the fact that we're landlocked here. Well, not landlocked, but can't expand by land. I like the fact that they have a 2 2 1 followed by a 3 1 2. Okay, let's try to get them back on their feet a little bit more because we depend upon them. Nice, another rebellion in VJ. Rebels lost pretty quickly. But at least that hurt their manpower pool.
Or four summits got to be higher than that. Yeah, it's 20. Yeah, I wish we could ch just hit one of their allies. Okay, so there's a fight going on. What happened in that fight? Amani's is attacking Gujarat. Send him another gift. And I'm going to start paying. Okay, our troops are paid. Gotta stop them drilling. First idea. Second one's the really important one. And now we'll try to save up cash to get this discipline advisor. I don't like seeing Bamani splitting up their troops and spreading them out. That's really dumb of them. Eh, yeah, but... BJ lost that battle, that's good. I like seeing Malakbar getting beaten up that quickly. At least their capital didn't fall. And Bamanis isn't technically winning this yet because they don't have the war goal. It looks like they're going to capture it pretty quickly. Let's get some tech. We're getting a neighbor bonus, so comfortable teching up immediately. Okay, Bamani's now has a war goal, so they have 31 war score. But those VJ or those Gujarati separatists will help out VJ's side. But I like seeing those rebels pop up. Hopefully. Our side doesn't... Oh, such a bad error. We got negative prestige, so I can't disinherit him. It's a him, right? Yeah. Hopefully our side doesn't try engaging there. Okay, so VJ lost that battle. Good. I don't think they're weak enough that we could attack them yet. And from Babylon, it would come in. We can get those relations up to 97, so we're almost at a point where we can finish our mission. Start of the next year, we should be able to. Ugh. 
We'll go for the unrest because we're not really facing any. We'll just top off relations with our allies for waiting to see how this war plays out. Hopefully VJ will get their army stack wiped. And we'll get isolated and or have to return cores to us. Okay, let's pull this get back. Yeah, I don't think they would ever even think about it. No. Just checking these relations. Now there's this uprising. Hey, Malabar got liberated entirely. That's good news. Don't like to see those rebels undoing Bamani's is good work. Oh, I'm going to continue drilling our troops because it doesn't look like we're being called into this war. Ooh, say Lenny's Separatists, that's potentially good for us. Yeah, since VJ isn't a co-belligerent, they're probably not going to lose as much. But this will set them back a little bit. And this is good because Bamani's was weaker than VJ before this war, and they should be stronger than him after this war. I think that's all of their forts. Huge amount of unrest. Okay, so they got eaten up, pieced out. Did they lose anything? Gujarat? Okay, yeah, so these provinces. And Golconda. Now, this one we gave them, so it's just this and that. Okay. Gujarat gives war reparations. VJ is isolated. So they just have Baglana and Andra. Big question is whether VJ has an army. They do. 25k. So we can see how effective they are dealing with their rebels. I'm wondering what their foursome is. Still 28. Money is only as 23. I 
We'll keep drilling, because I don't see that we're going to be able to attack them. That's a 15-year truce, so... Uh, VG's army just got wrecked down here. Raja signs the first is incorruptible. I like that. Let's check on our time here. Uh, 30 minutes. I'm going to stop here. Thank you for watching.